I'm here with Kim Hupke from Spellbinders, and she's got some great ideas for really big dies. So, Kim, what are we going to do? We're going to make this really cool layout. Oh, it's so layered. I love it. I love the dimension. Let's have some fun with die cutting and embossing. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's head to the machine. All right. First tip, take a little bit of water and spritz your paper. I like to spritz on both sides so the paper won't curl as it dries. All right. And we're spritzing the paper because? It'll give a really great deep emboss. It embosses yeah. anyway, but if you really want that extra oomph. That's a great tip. A little bit of water. I'm going to go ahead and put this die down on the cutting plate. And I noticed plate. that you've taped it in place, and that's not going to mm -hmm. affect the cutting in any way. No, I just want it to stay in place. Okay. So I've cut it. I'm going to cut the die. Okay. by simply running it through my die cutting machine. Which is easy enough to do. Oh, and I know easy. that one of the reasons this machine isn't moving anywhere is that you actually locked it in place. There's mm -hmm. a little mechanism on the front to There's do that. There's a stabilizer, that. makes it nice and... Nice and sturdy, so yes. you don't have to think about it at yes. all, which is really nice. All right, let's take that I can't wait to play see. Plate off. We're not going to look yet. Oh, okay. that's not fair. No, it's I like know. It's like a tease. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to just take this other die and I'm going to tape it that. inside. It's right inside. And I'm going to flip it over. And now we're going to emboss. And we're going to really give it some cool detail. I'm going to put the embossing pad on and the pink embossing plate on top of that and run okay. it through run the it machine through again. again. I always like tools in my craft room that have do double duty, that you don't have to have just one thing because, you know, I live in New York. It's a tiny little space. I have to have things that can do multiple tasks. Well, this can, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we got indeed. The thing I really love about these dies. <gasps> Oh, it's yes. so pretty. Isn't it pretty? It's perfect for like a wedding layout oh, or yeah. anything. The really cool thing about these mm -hmm. dies though is that you can also stencil through. So I'm going to take a little bit really? of ink and I'm just going to ink those open areas Ooh. and add some color to the die. That's really cool. I know I've you got gave a finished me one, one right here. It's Isn't beautiful. It beautiful. It really looks like a doily. Doesn't it looks it? like a doily to me too. Yeah, yeah. I love it. So let's start on this layout. Okay. Love the dimension. So while I am playing with some flowers, I'd like you to sand that. And I can feel that this is embossed, which I know you did the same way that we did the doily, right? That's right. Two okay. passes with your die cutting machine. Here I've got three different sizes of flowers, and I've already die cut these, and I've stenciled through the dies just like I did on the doily. But the really cool thing about these flowers is they have these petals that you can curl. So I'm just going to take a regular pen, and I'm going to curl that paper to give it some more dimension. That is so cool. It really I can't fun? believe how much dimension you can get out of that. That's amazing. And then you layer and make sure you offset those petals. Put a little button on top, and isn't that a cute embellishment? That is. You can use whatever color inks that you have so to you match. You coordinate with your photo, you could do whatever you wanted, mm -hmm. and I like how you use two different colors at the same time. Now, I've sanded mm -hmm. this, which I know brings out the embossing a little bit and adds mm -hmm. to the whole shabby chic, so I'm gonna hand that over to you. All right, let's just put it on that layout. I've gone ahead and cut and embossed another mm -hmm. die. I've used a little bit of ink just around the edges for this one. I really feel like you found so many different ways to add dimension with inking, with embossing, with cutting, with layering, but it's all about that visual interest. That's right. I, I love the detail. I love a little bit of bling. Any layout with a little bit of bling is mm -hmm. okay by me, and if it's pretty scrolly bling, I'm not going to complain. You know what I mean? I love to use the, the shiny with so, the more distress. Which die did you use to do that, actually? I used this one. You know, it kind of looks like Santa's sleigh to me. Can I say that? Oh, it Doesn't does. It does. That's know. cool. It would be great for a Christmas layout. Actually, if you did this mm -hmm. with more, because these could be poinsettias really easily if you cut mm -hmm. them out of like red paper or something like that, mm -hmm. it would be really cool. It would be. Put your little presents in there. I Lots know. of fun. So here's your photo. All right. We're going to put one of these on each side, add a little bit of decorative swirl. And I noticed you got a little tiny dimensional adhesive on the back here, which again, mm -hmm. we're just talking about Pop dimension, up. embossing, all sorts of ways to add that visual interest. And you know, you always have to have a little bit of journaling with that your layouts, is super cute. right? Cute. So how so. did you get those? Is that a die? Those uh, these are dies that have been cut, embossed and stenciled. We've just put a little bit of rub on on there. You could use printing oh, from your computer. Oh, I thought this was a sticker. You stenciled that with ink again. It's so neat. Well, we stenciled on um, mm -hmm. the rub on as the words. That so is we've add awesome. color, customized it to match the paper. I love it. There's so much layer in it. 
I love it too. It's so much fun. So let's look at the finished page here. Okay. And I can see that you added even more visual texture with mm -hmm. some twine. And this would be a perfect, I know we talked about this. I could totally see this as a wedding page. Couldn't oh, you? Oh yeah. How about first day of school? And I know you brought a whole bunch of other projects that have that layered, shabby, chic, delicate lace look. What is this? Is this a card? This is actually an anniversary guest book. What a great idea to have people sign yeah. when they come in. That's what a nice, so nice gift to give to the couple for I the know. big day, right? And this layout is just spectacularly oh, amazing. I love that. And notice the dimension on the petals around the center, just like we did with the layout uh, with the dog picture. Yeah. yeah, and it it looks like you've covered the layout with lace, the circles, the large piece here, and I'm sorry, can I touch this? Sure. Oh, that's paper. It almost looked like porcelain to me. That's amazing. You can pull those wings up and give your project dimension. That is so cool. And how about this frame? Oh, I love it. It's a little home decor piece put on canvas, and it's so easy to do. That's great, and it just makes you can customize the colors you want, whatever, for a child's room, anything like that. Kim, this was fantastic. I feel really inspired. Oh, thank you.